Hello and welcome to another Nicomedia video. This will be mostly for the uh, people who bought my cinema, uh, the Nicomedia Scene Rig Pro. And this, I, I did a little update and I want to show you what's new. I added two features and I th maybe you like it. I, I, li I like it, so I think you like it too. So, the first thing is we need our scene rig. Go to the content browser in my and here I have my scene rig 2.1 now. 2.01. Just double click it and we have it here. So far, so good. The first thing now is uh, for this background color for the gradient. Uh, and in the previous versions we have just the, the possibility to, to make a circular uh, transition. Now I added horizontal, vertical, diagonal and the, the old circular. It means let's make it a little darker here so we see it better. Of course this was our radius so it is something like uh, uh, vignette and now we can go horizontal we can go vertically diagonal and this diagonal this was the reason I did this because I needed it in my last job and I thought uh, it's good to add it here so that we can choose between some uh, possibilities okay this is the first one Let's go back to circular. This is the default. Here, let's make the default color. Okay, the next one is uh, we know this use background picture. And now we have the possibility to blur our background picture. This I needed in my last job too, so I, and I added it here because I think it's a good thing. In my last job, I had to make an uh, object what stands in front and and on a table, and in the background there should be a, a apartment or a room. And so, with this blurry, uh, with this possibility to blur the background, I uh, I faked a, a depth of field, and so I did did not have to to work with the camera or to set the camera for depth of field or, or and it renders faster with with the blurred background picture and it was okay so it, and, and and you can make some nice effects with this blurry background i will show you something uh, let's take a background picture and drop it in here so i have one here i take this one here and drag it in here. Activate the background picture and of course now we have to deactivate the default floor and the default background. Now we have our picture here. Ah, and next thing I did is here compositing floor was in the previous version on of off to, to click it on. Now it's on on because some people uh, told me and it's correct. Uh, normally we should check with something if we want it on and not if you want it off. So, okay, I did it, why not? <laughs> so, some people now are happy. Okay, we don't need the floor now, the compositing floor, just like this. And you see, when we rendered, when we rendered this, so, second, when we rendered this, we have just this picture. Now, let's blur it a little bit. And if we render it now, you see, we blurred it. And this you can use as, as a depth of field thing or something else. Or you can make some interesting backgrounds. So if you blur it by 100%, you get something like this. And let's make a little bit uh, go to middle here. We have something like this yet. Now it's smoother, this thing. And now we can play with this, so let's make it to 25. Let's say I want to make uh, a sphere. What is that? Something like this. 
make a transparent material just transparency with 1.517 discuss okay here is, normally I turn the exit reflections off but here it's just for art things <coughs> I'm sorry so I don't want the specular I need GTX no blurriness, full reflection and in the Fresnel dielectric and class Okay, put this material on our sphere and if we render this now we will see we have mm, just a black sphere and the reason is this we have nothing that reflects in our scene because we have first in our scene rig go to the HDRI settings and here we need a HDRI file Normally you take this file, you, you get with this uh, Cinema Fidelic, there's one under Studios. I did just one in here because uh, otherwise the, the lib4d file, the library file, would be too big to download and something else. And uh, all people who bought this uh, Cinema this is rig, the pro rig, I got a link to an, an or to, to an folder with 20 more of this uh, different studios and uh, I'm on on the way to, to make some more so soon there will come an update with some more studios so so just drag this in here just to see what it does turn on our preview and make it a little smaller so okay that's Make something like this. Okay, now we render this. What we get now is, of course, just uh, the environment, whether because the background does not reflect. We have now the adjusted environment, but now we can play another thing. We uh, give the same picture as the background picture we do in this file slot here. So let's take this and put it in here. No, don't need it now. And now let's see what we get. Get a very interesting picture. And you can uh, now blur this background fully, 100%. And to get a wonderful uh, art picture in, in seconds, uh, seconds not, but in minutes. <laughs> okay, these are the, the two new features. We can uh, choose now between four uh, transitions for the background gradient and we can blur our background. So I hope you like it and yeah, if you have some ideas what we can add to this rig or, or what can I do, uh, what would be better for this rig or uh, something else, uh, yeah, just tell me to write it in the comments or, or contact me over Facebook. And uh, yeah, and maybe for the people who, who maybe are interested in this, in this rig, uh, I do a link in the description where you can see what this thing can do and maybe you like it too. So, okay, then I wish you a nice day and bye bye so far.